Good morning YouTube. No, I am not back. I am here to complain about the mess which was Twitter. As you can tell from the title of this video, Twitter is now officially dead and is now called X. Narcissistic, white pasty, donut eating freak Elon Musk has officially lost his mind. He is now naming everything X because as always he always is in love with himself and he thinks he's the best, he thinks he's God, he thinks he's immortal so now he's taken over everything. So I, inst I what, what, what did I say, I was about to say installed, no, I uninstalled the Twitter app because I just got so fucking sick of it, like the dude is so full of himself. I mean, he just basically wants everything to be all about him, including Twitter, which wasn't even his to begin with. As everybody knows, Twitter was originally created by Jack Dorsey, so he's basically stealing all the credit from Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey created Twitter, so he has no right to rebrand it as X. That's why I'm so pissed off about it. Because everyone was complaining saying, oh, why are you bothered about it? The one thing I can't stand is someone taking credit for someone else's um, work, you know? And also, there, there's many reasons why I hate Elon Musk, okay? I, I could go on for hours. I mean, let's start with the first thing, okay? He, he unbanned Andrew Tate. And it, as you know, if you look up all about Andrew Tate, you'll know that he um, was arrested for sex trafficking and rape. And then also as well, he's also known for being misogynistic towards women and as well as as being sexist and and showing his hatred towards him. He is what people would class as the incel king. And um, Elon Musk unbanned him as soon as he became the new CEO. And um, what else? Uh, ever since um, Elon Musk took over Twitter, everyone started getting all these annoying friend requests from spam bots that um, have links in their bios to porn websites. And also they would add you into all these annoying group chats and would spam the hell out of you, telling you, oh, come look at me naked and stuff like that. No one wants to see that shit. Elon Musk has completely killed Twitter. Like, he's just completely ruined it. He destroyed the platform completely. And I watched it turn into a massive failure and just decided, right, enough's enough now. I don't like this app anymore. So... I've left Twitter and I'm not coming back. I am, you know, not m making another account. I have made so many accounts that I can't keep track, uh, mostly because I forgot my password or username. And then uh, another one was because someone else copied my username and um, I had to make a different account. And then after they changed their username, I had to reclaim that username. But, um, I just, it just got, the app just got so frustrating and I, and it's just become so toxic that I want nothing to do with it. And as I said, Elon Musk is such a narcissist. He has to name everything after him or after his work. You know, he, he just, oh, the guy just drives me insane. So I was like, nope, I'm not taking this any longer. I deleted the app and now I am going to switch to alternative apps because I just can't support someone who just, um, you know, steal other people's work or, well, I know he bought the app, but he's stealing credit. Like he's taking the credit from Jack Dorsey. Like he's trying to, he took over Twitter and then he's changing it to X okay he has no right to because that website was originally made by Jack Dorsey so he should never ever take the credit I mean when when um Justin Timberlake 
bought MySpace. He never changed the name to it because he knows that that um Tom, I think his name, his last name's Anderson, but MySpace Tom, he knew that that was his work, that was what he made originally, so that's why he never ever changed the name of MySpace. You know, when someone is the original co is the original founder or co-founder, you never ever try and claim that their work is yours. Okay, plagiarism, you know, is the most shittiest thing you can ever do. You know, taking someone else's credit that's just it's a wrong move. So I just really cannot support someone like that you know and like i said i really think that musk is a dickhead he's a piece of shit i can't stand him especially how narcissistic he is and how he supports people like andrew tay you know i can't stand people like that he does not deserve my support and i just abandoned the app completely so and if anyone does come across my twitter account don't bother like sending me um, message requests. Don't bother DMing me. Don't don't bother you know sending me follow requests because I'm not gonna respond to it. Um, as my bio says, I've left. You know, I've deleted like the the um the oh sorry I can't talk right now. I just only woke up so my brain's still trying to boot up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I removed my Twitter header, I removed my profile picture, and then I put in the bio that I quit, so yeah, there's no point bothering me on that app because I'm no longer on it. But yeah, that's basically what happened, like, he got rid of the Bluebird logo and made it into some shitty, um, glitch type logo with an X. Um, he basically copied the X logo from his SpaceX company. So, um, yeah, he's changed everything. And now the place is just a toxic playground for idiots. So, yeah, rest in peace, Twitter. Honestly, Jack Dorsey, if you're watching this, what the hell was wrong with you? Why did you have to sell your website? Why? Why, Jack Dorsey? I guess you was just in it for the money, but l look what happened. I mean, guys, guys, guys. <sighs> if you're an old school social networker like me, if you've been around since the MySpace days, you would know that Twitter used to be such an amazing platform. Uh, you know, we had Vine at one point, and then we had all those people who were just you know, Twitter used to be about posting funny memes and silly little sto short stories in, in their posts. You know, it was originally supposed to be where people would give give an updates, kind of like kind of like Facebook's um status updates. You know, um, it was like that. It would, people would post like short posts about what was going on in their daily life and people would share like funny little short stories and then people would share like pictures of silly memes it used to be fun and then when they had the vine app you know when they started adding vine as an add-on to twitter people would share all these silly vine videos and it was fun and now twitter all it's about is people trash talking each other people you know you know, bullying each other, you know, because now, um, Twitter, they've got this whole new quote-unquote freedom of speech policy, which is just a bullshit excuse for them to promote, um, racism, sexism, misogyny, or, as well as transphobia and homophobia. Sure, yeah, I don't believe in the whole bullshit gender-fluid non-binary crap, and I don't believe that there are like thousands of genders, but I still am part of the LGBT community. So I do support LGBT people to a certain degree. I just don't believe in the 10,000 gender thing, but I can't stand homophobia or transphobia. You know, I, I think that but I don't agree with 
transphobia or homophobia, you know, I may not believe in 10,000 genders or something like that, or people um, identifying as inanimate objects and whatnot, but I, I am part of the LGBT community, but I'm an old school LGBT person, but I don't agree with transphobia or homophobia. But yeah, um, Twitter has has now turned into a toxic platform where they promote hatred and bullying as well as, you know, supporting rapists and stuff like that and, and incel people and, you know, they it's just turned into a complete toxic platform and I cannot support that sort of thing. It's just turned into one huge mess you know Elon Musk has just completely destroyed it and turned it into his own world so yeah that's what's happened to Twitter or now X it is just turned into something else and as I said I won't be back I won't be using that app so yeah that's all I've got to say today, like and share, subscribe, but I won't be back on YouTube, I just thought I'd share this with everyone.